Hello and welcome to Blender Tutorial Modeling the Monster Truck. Um, I'm using Blender 2.57B and in this tutorial one of the things that I'd like to do not only uh, go completely through the modeling process so that when you finish this tutorial you will actually be able to model this truck even if you're a beginner but also um, with this version of Blender being somewhat still new uh, for people who have used Blender before, I'm going to highlight along the way some of the things that has changed and, and show you where, where things are now, because uh, I don't find a whole lot of tutorials out there on that. This tutorial is meant for somebody who is kind of familiar with the interface and definitely familiar with some, some modeling. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Blender interface, I suggest taking a, like a quick tutorial on you know just the basics to get the basics down in fact I do have a, uh, a basics tutorial but it's on a earlier version of Blender so let's get started um, like I said I'm assuming you know a little bit about the Blender and about modeling so mostly I'm just gonna go through the tutorial and show you what I'm doing and telling you tell you what I'm doing as I'm doing it so let's get started um, what I what, I'm, what we're gonna model here is the uh, the monster truck and I have some views here here is a little view that I I drew up I know it's not you know the greatest artwork but I just had this idea of a monster truck I know it's been done before but I want to do something just a little bit different um, I'm gonna have a, a gun up here <laughs> big Gatlin type of gun or whatever you want to call it and um, I decided after I drew this I'm gonna there's a few things that I'm going to change around like I wanted it to be lifted up like on a lift kit I wanted the rims to be kind of inset I want square headlights instead of the round ones so what I did uh, after I made this little drawing is I came up with some orthographic views the front side and top so what we're going to do first is load those views into Blender and just the way I have Blender set up I, I use um, this side is the top and this is the front and this is the side and of course you can do it however however you like it whatever you're more comfortable with so if you hit in on your keyboard it's going to bring up this screen here and if you go down to the bottom you can uh, load in your image that you're going to use and I have some existing in there but I want to use a different one so I'm going to go open and I'm going to go over to my uh, blender directory in my monster truck directory and pick my top view and open and as you can see um, it's not showing up but I think if I just hit refresh here there we go sometimes it doesn't show up and you have to hit refresh and actually it's pointing the wrong way actually like my um, my top views to point down and I'll tell you why in a minute so let me go get my view back my top view of course you can use any graphics program that you're comfortable with to do any editing of the images that you need to and I'm just gonna do a rotate in paint shop pro 180 degrees just to turn it around Okay, so I'm going to go back and hit the little refresh icon here, and that switched it around for me. Now over on this view, in again, come down, and I'm going to get my front view. Actually, it says back, but I'm using the front. Open. front view <clears throat> and there that is and same thing here for the side in and they call it instead of a side of course they call it left and right and depending on the complexity of your model um, it's good to have a back view or a, a left and a right but 
for the purpose of this it's, we're going to get by with the top front and the side view and there's my side view now if you see that the way I've done it is it's pointing over to the left I mean the front is is to the left and you see how your Y is pointing that way towards the rear and it's doing it the same way here the reason that I pointed this image down is so it will match this and you'll see how that works in a, in a bit if you don't know already so what I did is I uh, took some graph paper and I just kind of made a sketch of this truck um, of course as we go along I'll probably change a few things I'm gonna provide you a link here where you can go download these images if you want to use this as background of course you can use uh, your own truck if you want to do it that way but one of the reasons I did this is uh, of course one thing I wanted a, something of my own original design but uh, a lot of the orthographic views that you get in order to make models out there don't match I, I'm working on a car now very detailed uh, very difficult car that I'm trying to do and the car the um, orthographic views that I have came from the manufacturer so, you know, it was marketing but still it was something professional and they looked like they match but when I got it right down to the details it was off and it's really uh, causing me difficulty so it's nice to have something that matches perfectly so what I want to do is make sure that I got these images moved around so they are matching in the different views so kind of the easiest way to do that is you can go ahead and add mesh plane and I'm gonna hit Z to make this oh, I'm sorry I'm not even I need to uh, size this or scale it I'm use S to scale there we go it's so small I couldn't even see it my uh, my images that I scan are just I scan them at a very high resolution just because I had problems with them coming out the way I wanted to wanted them to. So what I'm going to do is just kind of um, wrap this this uh, plane so that it fits the image. Actually, I'm going to fit the image to the plane so you can come down here to the image size and um, placement and X is sideways and Y is up and down in this case so if you move it over it's moving over very slightly but it is moving and I'm gonna size the plane and I just wanna get it you know kinda right so that these edges here are lining up with it. I'm not too concerned about the wheels right now. I'm just going by the body of the truck. So that's pretty close. And I'm going to go uh, scale Y, S Y on the keyboard. And just use the mouse to scale that up. And in this case, I guess I'll just go bumper to bumper. So, SY again. That's pretty close. So, we know the overall size of the, uh, the top of the body. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that this image is in the same space as the rest of the images so once we have this we can go to either one of the other ones and take a look so going over to the side view I'm gonna go ahead and tab in to edit this this um, plane and I'm going to E extrude Just so I can get some um, some depth to it here, tab back out in edit mode or object mode, sorry, and 
I'm going to hit Z so I can see through this. And as you can see, it's, uh, this, it's way off. So this picture here needs to be scaled up. And we can come down to size. It's at 110%, but let's do 150, see what happens. Okay, it still needs to go up higher. Let's do 170%. Okay, that's a little bit too much. 165, 160, 155. Okay, now we're getting there, so I can just kind of use this arrow to fine tune it. Okay, and since I'm in the side view. I can actually move this up to see if it's fitting the rest of the uh, the dimensions here, and that is actually pretty close. But I can size it up a little bit, and notice how your X and Y here. This in this view, X doesn't actually correspond to the X on your cursor here. It's just X when you're moving your image around is from side to side and Y is up as that up and down. So I'm gonna size this up a little bit. Yeah, going the wrong way. You go back down. Okay, size up a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty close. Okay, so you can see this one is way off as well on the front view. So I'm going to Z so I can see through this. And let's uh, size the image down, I, I believe. Yeah, let's try 90. Whoa, way too much. Try 100. Getting there so I can come down in size. Zoom in with my mouse wheel so I can see what I'm doing. And now I can move it over. If I can move it over the right way in the X. Okay, size it up a little bit. Or I'm sorry, size down. Okay, pretty close there. Now how about uh, moving it down? Actually, the bottom of the truck is right here, as far as the body, so, yeah, pretty close. At least it's going to be close enough for what we're, we're doing here. So, so when we follow these, these reference images, then that means that no matter what view we're working in, they're going to be right where we need them. So, I am going to hit N to take away those panels, get them out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I, what I always do is just uh, name the file. Like I'm going to name this monster truck. And I'm just going to call this um, ref images just as a starting point. save. And I always get in the habit of, um, you know, just save often. And I just save different versions as I go along. As I do some kind of major work, I try to save a version of it. Now when I hit Z, go back to solid and turn this with, I'm holding down my middle mouse wheel. And of course you can set Blender in different ways depending on how you rotate and all that good stuff. But now you can see I have this cube. And what I want to do, hit 7 to go back to the top view. I want to cut this cube in half because we are going to model one side and then of course we're going to mirror it. You've probably seen some people do. That is, when you're working with a um, model that is symmetrical, you know, it's the best way to do it. Otherwise you're just doing twice the amount of work. 
So instead of spending 20 hours, you're going to spend 40 hours or whatever. So I'm going to tab into this. And if you hit Control R, it gives you this line that will uh, separate your object. If you mouse wheel, you can actually create several breaks. But I just want one. I'm going to hit um, left button twice, or whatever your select is, twice. And that puts it right in the middle, so that's kind of nice. So, I'm going to come down here to face mode. Select face mode. And I'm going to hit B and drag a box select around all those faces in the on the left side so you can see those are selected and I'm just going to hit the delete key or you can hit X in faces and that takes away let me go back into tab mode and Z you can kind of see better that takes away that complete half of, of that uh, rectangle or cube or whatever you want to call it um, so seven top again so now you can see that uh, we have half of it and that's what we're going to start modeling with and what I like to do is I always like to start with the side view and that's just a personal preference and I'm going to show you how to take this cube we're starting with just a simple cube and we're going to create a monster truck so I'm going to come to the side view and hit Z so I can see my cube object there and if you hit control up arrow that brings it to full screen and if you hit control up arrow again it just toggles back and forth so go ahead and um, let's hit Z again so we can see through it and I'm going to tab to go into edit mode for this cube and if you hit A, it selects the entire cube. Whatever object you have sele selected, it'll select everything. 